everyone, Coach Mel here. So I want to talk today about starting that new skein of yarn. Um, so sometimes this is something that we may struggle with and I just want to talk to you about some things that I do and maybe it'll be helpful for you. So wouldn't we love it if all of them came like that where you just can pull that yarn right out from the center? However, most of the time they don't come like that. Um, so a couple of things. So first off, especially if you're a new crocheter, and this is just the way I do it, it not to say it's the only way, but don't take your label off, all right? Leaving the label on is going to help that skein stay intact as it's getting smaller and smaller. So leave your label on. When I teach classes and the first thing people do is rip their label off, I go and get tape and I go put their label back on because you want that label on. It's best to do a center pull because then your skein of yarn is not flopping all over the place as you're crocheting, okay? So let me show you about diving into that skein of yarn. Hi, Amy. I know she hands me her skein sometimes when we're in class so that I can get to the center for her. And I don't always do it perfectly. We had quite the knot the other night, but let me show you a couple of things. So here's a new skein of yarn. Okay, and right off the bat at this end, if you could see it, all right, you could see that, oh, that one right there, that looks like that might be an end. Nope, not that one. Is this one over here? Okay, there's an end. All right, so pulled out an end right there, but this is the outside. All right, if I bring that skein back down here, that's the outside, which means if you work with the outside, your skein is going to go all over the place when you pull to get yourself more yarn. So. What I do with the outside is I go ahead and I wrap it back around the skein and I tuck it underneath the label, okay, so that it is not available for you to use. Also, if that one stays inside, sometimes it then causes the other end to get tangled as you're pulling out and as you're working your yarn, okay. So here's what I do, and it's really hard to show you because a lot of the work is done on the inside of the skein, but I literally, literally bring both, from both ends of the skein, I go in so that I could feel my fingers touching each other in the middle, all right? And then that's when I grab just a couple, this is live, so I could have a big disaster right here, okay? So that's not coming out very easily. So I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to reach in there again. Say, you never know. I could do it. I could do it when people aren't watching, but here I am live, and I'm not going to get it too good. All right, I'm going to try again, okay? Try to get into the center. If it's really hard to pull it, Chances are you're not really in the center there. I'm going to go from the other side because I feel like every time I pull that, I feel it coming from the other side. So really get in there. All right. So I feel a big, big clump coming. And that's what you got to be careful of. When you get that big clump that comes out, sometimes that's what causes a whole mess for you. And then it gets knotted up and then you spend a lot of time on knotting it. So I'm trying to get myself into the center of that big piece that was coming out. You, you, sometimes you got to work at it for a while, all right? But look at what just happened. I worked at it, and there's my center. All right, so I do have a little bit of a mess here. That's not very attractive, so I am going to stick it back in there a little bit. But I've got it started from the center, okay? This I'm not going to worry about. Every once in a while, you'll start to pull in some of that will come out. All right, just separate it out a little bit. Separate it out a little bit, okay? And if you do get that big clump that comes out, then just go ahead and pull out and wrap it back around the rest of your skein, see? So this clump right here, that's what I was battling with. All right, I don't want that to get knotted. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna wrap it back around my skein and then I can start going to town on my project, okay? Some people will ball their whole skein. I don't got the patience for that. When I get a new project that I'm ready to start on, I just want to go. I don't want to have to sit and ball my whole skein of yarn. So I take my chance at maybe it being a little bit messy. I have another skein here. Let's see. Let's see if I can go two for two. That wasn't, that wasn't the prettiest. I'm not going to lie. That wasn't the prettiest. 
But let's see what we got on this one. It's the same type of yarn. Let's see if I get in there in the middle, if I could pull this one out a little bit better. So as you pull, like I said, if it's hard to pull it out, chances are you're getting more than just that very center. All right, so pulling out a little bit more. Yeah, and sometimes, see, this one again, I'm not, I'm telling you, I could probably do this first time if nobody was watching, but I'm on live and look what's happening. All right, so there we go. So I know that I have the end in there at some point because I'm at my single strand there. All right, so again, this one wasn't so bad. I probably don't even need to go around the skein. Um, I would just start doing my crocheting there, okay? So the other thing I wanna show you today is, so some of you may have pets, dogs, cats, um, that wanna play with your yarn while you're crocheting. So I made something really, really simple. Um, and this is from, this is, was a jar, I, I tried to take the label out and it was coming off really bad. This was a container of pretzels. I had to stop buying them because I eat too many of them, they're so yummy. But basically, it's a plastic container that I cleaned out and this is what I did. I took and I put some grommets. So these are grommets that you buy at like, uh, where did I get, Harbor Freight, okay? If dad's watching, dad loves Harbor Freight. And it comes with all the tools that you need to punch the hole and to put the grommet in, okay? So what you do once you have that set up is you put your skein of yarn into your bucket, you run your yarn through the grommet, and you don't wanna just make a hole, you wanna use something that's nice and, and, and smooth, because if I just made a hole, like cut a hole, and the plastic edges were kind of rough, as my yarn comes out, it's gonna catch on it. So you really need to put something there. So that's why I use this grommet. So you put the grommet in, and now you just pull your yarn out. Your ball is staying nice and, your skein, your ball is staying nice and safe in there, not flopping all over the place, not running away from you, because you know you have that ball of yarn and you go to pull it, and the next thing you know, it's across the floor. That's happened to us too. Um, but this way, it stays in there and the pets can't get to it. That's the other plus of doing something like that. So, you know, something that would have went in the recycle bin, um, I used, and I can, I did two holes, so I could put two different skeins in there. So just a fun little thing that you can make um, out of something like that. So, so that's the fun for today. Um, you know, of course, it was a little bit more difficult than I had hoped, but Really try to get in there, get into the middle, get your fingers together, feel like you're really in the center of that skein and pull out. If it's pulling really hard, go back in there, separate that center section again, and then pull it out again. So as you can see, there's someone over my shoulder right here. I just want to talk about that really quickly before I finish this up. So this is a poncho that I made. Um, really, really pretty colors and nice and flowy. We've got a nice little neck band here and I did a little scalloped edge. So if you've been um, on my YouTube channel, you'll see um, there's a pattern out there that's called the Easy Poncho. This is the Easy Crocheted Poncho. I am going to be giving this one away. Um, so that is coming soon. You're going to see it on my social media feeds um, as if you uh, go on and share my posts or things like that, you'll get entries. So it's going to be open for about 10 days. I hope to get everything set up and launched either tomorrow or Sunday. And you'll be able to enter each day. I'll send out an email and I'll do some social media posts about it as well. Um, but this um, this poncho is going to be a giveaway. Um, if you, um, some of you, I'm here on Facebook Live and also on YouTube Live. If you haven't been over to my Facebook page yet, it is Coach Mel's Crochet Corner. Um, I come on live like this. I try to do once a week a little hint tips. We'll do some crocheting. Maybe I'll do a learn to crochet out there if people are interested. Um, and just, uh, just having some crochet fun with everyone. So, um, so that's, what's coming up. So look for this. Like I said, hope to have everything set up tomorrow or Sunday to be able to get entered in to winning that poncho. All right. So that's all that I have for you today. Um, hope that you enjoy this. Hope
helpful. Um, so keep those labels on and pull your yarn from the center. It'll make life easier. And if you have the pets, when you finish this container of pretzels or anything like this, you can use um, a coffee container. Just make sure you clean it out and it doesn't have any coommie stink in it anymore before you put your yarn in it. Um, but grommets like, these are really inexpensive. Got them at Harbor Freight. I'm sure you could find these on Amazon. Um, and it, they're super simple to put in. It basically comes with all the tools you need. You might need a hammer, um, but it comes with the thing to make the hole and to put the grommets in. It's nice and smooth and your yarn will just pull out from there so that the dogs and cats don't try to play with your yarn while you're crocheting. All right. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Good to see you, Christy and Linda. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.